Is this cause you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? I haven't given up. You haven't given up? What, what the hell's wrong with you guys? Let me see Ooh. that. <gasps> she's gonna break it! She's gonna break it, she needs to learn first. Angie! Because we have Atua. Okay, what the fuck? Come on now. What's going on, Kyo? If you say something about Atua, I swear to God. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before? If you face a fear like never before, you have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that I will cast you down into the depths of terror. That will. Hey, Montaro, looking like your daddy there, with, with that eye. This time, the motive is a transfer student. Hello? Oh, wait, that's the name of the title. Uh, chapter, chapter name. Yep, a new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. You're capping. Hello? You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. You Guys, can't do that, so. You're capping. If I had to pick, sorry, I'm Kaede, bringing you Rontaro Montaro. back. Kaede, I love you, but you're kind of stupid. Rontaro. We don't need your hope. Kaido's hope now. We're fine. We, we, I, Rontaro kind of, we need to flash him with the flashback, like... Personally, <laughs> personally, I think Kaede would probably be like, you, you, you're an idiot. You should have brought Rontaro. I want you guys to get out. I don't care about me. I'm an idiot. Why'd you first make me? You're lying. You're supposed, to be, you're supposed to see the despair on my face when you guys say, psych! A, a transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? Necronomicon! The resurrection for the final rich resurrection fish war is written as Necronomicon! But before the wish war is written, you can resurrect one deceased victim! That's right! But only one of the four students who have died can become the transfer student! Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester! Ah! So technically, you could kill him again as soon as they're resurrected! That'd be cold! <laughs> now, if you want to use it like that. <laughs> That's more supposed to bring closer, 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 closer together. Sorry. Oh, just sorry. Oh, 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 habits and such. Hey, Monodom, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving friends is what we do, you know. That's wonderful. My friend, you're nice. But there's more to fresh than being nice. What do you want from me, Monodom? Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll punish you, Montaro. No, not Mana Fanny. What? I always mocking her when she's not looking. Looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Okay. Fine. Oh. 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 Fine. I'll do it. Yo, what are you doing? I don't want to see this. So long. Farewell. <laughs> We're gonna break Kaede. Why aren't did Kibo say Atua, bro? That that right there was weird. Everyone's getting converted. That's a cult. We were all completely dumbfounded. It's kind of like the disparities. Not not like it, but that's like the event. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But that's impossible. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student? Respecting the dead? Don't, don't, say such a, don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way respecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh. Who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Me. Listen. Disbelief due to lack of scientific <laughs> merit is also is, is simply the hoop hubris of scientific society. The ritual of rather resurrection ceremony stemmed from funeral ceremonies that the You wanna lead the fucking uh ritual? <laughs> <laughs> right. See? They are similar, yes. The act of sending the dead to the next world is some sort of ritual. The rumors and legends, the rituals twisted into a way to return the dead to, to this world. A ritual. Why are they about to give me some dumbass fucking? We were all not dead. Stop capping. We, we were not actually dead. So, so just keep rambling about it. I'm guessing you leave a us of Kyo. <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way that dead can be resurrected. <laughs> he tried. He, what? he tried that alchemy circle and it did not work. Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they're gonna be brought back to life. He, full metal alchemist's sister. <laughs> Dead flesh can be restored. Such as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected. Uh, that seems confusing, but if we ask, this conversation will go just go on forever. Uh, okay. 
if, if, if not, even Kyo believes it, <laughs> then there's no such thing as respecting the dead. Right. And if this ideal idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. The kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. You see it too, Miu? No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yeah. Angie is free to speak. Yeah, Angie's free to speak. Yay! Yeah! So I can say it? Yay! The okay, I'm going to say it. The left side of the room is weird the right now. The energy on the left side is disgusting. I'd rather be on the right side. Because that's what our two are desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. So you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't think the resurrection ritual with you can really bring the dead back to life. But our two are can. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. Zombies? No! No zombies in this building, please. You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? Yeah. So clean is like they were never dead, a dead body to begin with. So maybe... The truth is... They were never dead to begin with. Cap. I, well, I, yo, we really saw, we saw Ryoma get fucking... Bones. <laughs> they weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We expected all the bodies ourselves and bones. But it might have been a very accurate imitation. With magic, maybe. No. An imitation? I see. Monokuma and the Exos are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. Okay. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Yo, who said Angie was in charge, though? Like, don't. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I feel like I'm getting usurped. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, you know in The Mist when that lady was like, Guys! Yeah, the right? The Mist! The Mist! And then everyone was, like, losing their shit. I've always supported Angie. Mm. Yeah! Yay! Thank you, everyone! Wait! Yeah, wait, what? no, wait a minute! I saw them with my own eyes! What spell you casting, girl? She got beguile on. Gah! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate! Listen. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Suichi? You don't want dead to be alive? That's true. I, I do. I don't I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But no matter how much I how much we want that. What? Oh wait! What's the, what, what, what you saw? If they weren't alive, that means they're somewhere in the school, right? So maybe one of them write messages in the courtyard. The message in the courtyard? The horsey. Hmm. Johnson, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. It changed? On the way here, go to see writing in courtyard. Hey! Oh shit, there's more. The worst is yet to come. The... The worst... The worst... Hmm. Huh? More writing. Um... Go to... Go to... Go to know could understand what writing means, but maybe... Maybe a message from dead. The... Maybe everyone really message for us that say, "Hey, we alive." No, not not that one. The the world. The world. Wait, I need to see huh? it again. A message from everyone who died. Cause no one here write it, did they? Someone else must have write it, right? Rest in peace. <laughs> Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? The world is. In other words, it's a message from the dead? Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked up the Necronomicon off the floor. Oh. Okay. Angie, what are, you planning to do what are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You know there is a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that dangerous, that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Well, considering that the monocubs got it, I think it might be okay. For example, maybe people who've died are actually alive. 
if you don't perform the ritual, maybe they could, they will be killed for a certain this time. Bye. Uh -oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. Yeah. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're savior to those four people. Four? They said one. Huh? Huh? Uh, Angie approached Gonta with her usual wild smile and touched his heart. <laughs> the, yo, people, stop hugging her. Wait, wait. Stop hugging her. Why? I don't. This... Stop hugging her. I don't know. It's cute, it's cute though. though. I was saying, it's cute though. <laughs> yeah, don't hug. Yo, Angie, come over here like this to me. Like, ah! Because <laughs> she hugged Kimiko too. Yeah. She's been hugging everybody, bro. Oh. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. That's Even cute. You berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Converted. <laughs> always watching Gonta. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. Alone, Did she pull him down to, to her level? For sure. <laughs> Atua is like a gentle grandmother watching over you and keeping you safe. <laughs> Convert it. Huh? Yo, guys, let's go hide in a fucking room because we're about to get contagious. Gentle grandmother. I thought you said Otto was a handsome man. I thought that too. Me, we're in the same brainwave right now. Oh. Angie's Otto what changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not especially convenient at all. Student council? We should have said we should have said no to this fucking pool party. Yikes. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. Why don't you join next student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah. It'd be really reassuring if you were a part of the student council, Gonta. Hmm. Hmm. You will use my po you will use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah. Yeah. See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. You need Gonta? He's gone. Okay. Okay, Gonta, Gonta joins student council too. Right side of the room. Wait. Right side of the room is safe. We're the only ones with the brain cells left. We can't... Wait, but before all that, what exactly is the student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Andy summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Smoogie. <gasps> she was up last night. Yeah. Yes! And we arrive to a conclusion. Oh, God. It's the oh. Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. You know, student councils never go well. Never. <laughs> We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yes. But that doesn't work. Huh? A student council and Angie is the president? Yes. Yes, th th there can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Oh, shut up! What? Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. Because <laughs> Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. Now I'm thinking Atua's fake. Yeah. And he was like, oh yeah, Atua speaks through me, trust me. Atua said, burn the child. Yeah, like, Atua said, give me your money. That's right. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to follow Angie too. Thanks everyone! Atuma's happy too! And I, my dumbass really said, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go snake sticking on the party. I regret it now. Oh jeez, they've totally been brainwashed! And she has put her influence before we even realized. I don't like that me and Kukichi are on the same side, but it kinda feels nice for once. Yeah. But it makes it sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death that cannot be avoided. Kosha born from a desire to escape that. So, she's using the situation to take over the school and make us dependent on Atua. Please wait! Using is a rude way to describe it. 
The president wants peace from the school. The more I'll agree with her noble wisdom. What? Yeah, go to not let anyone oh, talk bad about student council. They got the biggest dude. They We're got fucked. the muscle. <laughs> we got. Tiny and Tiny Kokichi, Miyu, Maki, 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 and, and, Maki and Carol's only, only hope. Maki! That's why I find him. Kyo Kido will fall like a brick. <laughs> Hit him in the knees. He does launch here. You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. Miyu had not to kill You had a brain cell. But. But. I'm surprised Tinker decided to join the student council. Bro, for real. H huh? Why? Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Well, who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atsu was. Oh. So, that's right, that's right. Now what we're talking about again? Just lead us to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atsuwa makes the decision. Wait! Less burdensome? That's a really. If it's Atsuwa's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah! Yeah, there's no way Atua would be wrong. I don't know voice these people anymore. Oh my god. Yep, yep. Atua's always right. Are you guys serious? The resurrection the resurrection church roll what? Church roll. The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. It's a wet. <laughs> It'll be fine. As long as everyone put aside their desire to leave. I doubt they listen to anything you have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you can at least help too, Kaido. He's yeah, like, fuck. Yeah. A cult? I can't, I, can't, I can't compete with that. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. He's gonna get a hug, bro. Kaido! No! Kaido! No! Okay, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was a dummy brain eating moment. Oh, my God. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. It is time. <laughs> Let's go. This is a man's fantasy. I don't want to go anymore. That this place blows. I head to the pool. My heart safety was off. And I was going in guns blazing. Which you, you know you're not a big guy, right? <laughs> like what an incredible sight to behold. My fantasy is shining like supernova. Oh, it's very Russian thing for you to say. What the fuck is that? Yeah, is that so big, Sumugi? Do you mind if I touch them? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's in the cult? Kibo. Kibo's the only one not there. Okay. You know. Sumugi, is she wearing a thong? It's embarrassing if you touch yep. them. Yup. Yeah, take a while. She. <laughs> Fucking she sad. Was, she was impressed with my girl Yumiko. You can, you don't you don't have magic. Oh, I understand now. I can not to hang out with the boys, man. Beauty is way better than size, anyway. Had I known they were going on this cult bullshit, I wouldn't have went. I didn't know that was gonna be the case. I... But <laughs> so this is where Angie was playing playing a party for the suitor council. Anyway, I I saw it. Then I immediately questioned the morality of my actions. Just keep it quiet. Keep it. Keep it. Keep inside. Keep it together. Cause you don't feel. Cancer screen is giving you I don't even So many that. heavy conversations. No. Are <laughs> you sad, bro? Why are you sad? <laughs> Cause I don't like cults. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There's something. I, there has to be something I can do. I have to find something. <laughs> ah! Oh, Twyla, I'm sorry. You ruined the. <laughs> Spend time with Keo. I'm putting my foot down. Well, you know, I have the controller, and I want to go talk to Miyu again. I will blow your kneecaps out. Don't play me. I will blow your kneecaps well, out. Well, you have to read them. I'm not reading anthropology okay, stuff. Okay, I'll read it. Give him the fucking hair. Like, what the fuck is <laughs> I am pleased. Go back. He don't want it. He does have it. He doesn't want it. He didn't want it though. You enjoy giving gifts? Perhaps we can discuss cultural gift giving practices. No, 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 no. So then. 
No, go back. Why? I want to give him the other thing. Why? I want to give him the other thing. Why? I don't want to give him that stupid shit. Wait, <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> he didn't like it. He just took it because he didn't take anything. Go back. He does please, like it. Why? Back. Why? Please. Why? Why? It worked. Net. Why? He'll like it. He'll make a <laughs> happy face. <laughs> we'll see it. No. No, if he dies next round. It doesn't matter the quantity. No. Dude, dude. Please, do me the solid. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's gonna love it. High scientific value. He's a man of culture. Not science. Anthropology is science, dumbass. He said science and technology is work. Yeah, exactly. See, I listen to him. I'll give him this. I'll be hates it. I'll be hates it. Wonderful. Is, is, is that good for you? He said I have an eye for treasures. <laughs> oh brother! <laughs> what the fuck was he gonna talk about last time? I don't know. <laughs> he some... I don't. Oh no, he said the same thing. Never mind. Well, I'm having fun, so I don't mind it. Ah yes. I don't remember. Pretty... <laughs> no, I don't. If I remember correctly. Oh, you want to read this for real? Yeah. Okay. I was a cappy. <laughs> Yeah, and how they were similar in legends all around the world. Listen. That is, but legend with the counterparts in other cultures. Another such another such legend, one I find quite interesting, is that of Haniwele. Uh um Haniwele? That's correct. It is the name of a girl who appears in the folklore of Indonesia. To summarize, she was a goddess who defect defected? Defected? Defecated? <laughs> Valuable items. In the tale, she was killed and her body became seeds for crops. Similar tales of J in Japanese folklore are Ohogesu Hime and Uke Mochi. Isn't it fa fascinating how these, how similar these tales from different lands are? You're right. Yeah, absolutely. If you're enjoying yourself. I am. Tales with boxes not to be opened. Hero mythology, gods disguised as beggars. There are tales with similar elements like these all over the world. Interesting. So, you know all about legends and myths, Kyo? But of course. Of course. Myths, folklore, legends. They all form inform anthropology. Then Are there any particular in the particular that resonate with you? Myths that resonate. Hmm. Tell me your thoughts. <laughs> Have you <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I just <laughs> Have you ever heard of Medusa? I remember correctly. The monster who turns all that look upon her into stone, correct? Yes. Yes, you may know her as a monster. Hmm. He wants to fuck Medusa. <laughs> Bet. She changed into a fearsome monster to be slain by a hero. Why? How did that happen? Let's see. The answer is clear if you consider why nature deities were worshipped. Long don't quiz me, I don't know. Long ago, humanity was weak and stood no chance against the might of nature. But over time, humanity developed civilization and began taming the land. The protection of a goddess of nature was no longer needed. The goddess becoming a monster is proof of humanity overcoming nature. Are you having fun? Are you I'm having days? fucking fun. I'm, I like anthropology. No, you don't. I took anthropology in school. so Because you had, had to take all class. I, didn't, I, I enjoyed it. I took it. I see. But people will continue to tell the story of Medusa. Why is that? Oh, fuck. So the power okay, okay, of humanity okay. to say okay. that we've conquered nature? <laughs> yes, this is true, but there's a bigger reason. Do you understand? The living things turn to stone. This clearly represents death, yes. In other words, all human beings will one day perish. Oh, he's gonna kill somebody. So even if we overcome nature, we cannot overcome death. I couldn't exactly tell through the mask, but I imagine Kurikio was smiling. Why say his whole name, bro? Whoa, he's gonna kill somebody! Oh fuck, caught you lacking! <laughs> Oops. It seems I've gotten off track. Let's return to discussion to discussing myths. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Kyo, bro. Caught you lagging. Full of new knowledge, I return to my room. Oh, oh. oh my tea. Tea. What the fuck? 
you get rid of soda? Hmm? It was tea. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives are more skeptical than necessary. You're gonna come from my craft. Yeah. Or that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering, how did you get your work? I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. Wouldn't assassination, assassination organizations disband after be, they become known? That is true. So what? If you want to know about my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. <laughs> Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey, have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? <laughs> no, I have not. No, that's the first, the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course. A normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. Well, a cult? Does this have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's just the assassination organization I belong to. Sounds whack. You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. Eh, uh, a little bit. It's a new cult from behind the scenes. It trains assassins. But... That sounds made up. It's real. The founder is the boss of an organization, and all the staff are a part of it. The clients ask for consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The, others, the other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country. Bro, there's one for me right in front of us. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. <laughs> hey, when you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Mm-hmm. Well. well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well, being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been pu punished for their sins. God doesn't really exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she just accepted that that's the way things are. Then, then I assume you're a devotee on this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. Ah. It may seem that way since I'm not affiliated with- I'm affiliated with the cult, but- Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? In training! There are several assassinations bes assassins beside me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So you don't share that kind of information with each other? That's of course not. Ah. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Oh. Her tone hadn't changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Okay. Oh, my child was all cool from being punched by my dumb as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. <laughs> While my dumb and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to daddy. No. I want to see a patchy bear. Oh my god. Time to train, but is Kaido okay? Bro, he's not gonna. I guess so. He's not gonna show up to uh, training one day. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing fine. No, Hi, that's buddy. Bobby. She's like, come, Kaido's in danger. My, my, uh. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find. Oh. Oh shit, I was kidding. I was kidding. Uh, Maki? Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Kaido's resting. He says he won't. He's not feeling well, and that we should train without him. He's still dead. <laughs> he's still down. So no, he's still dead. <laughs> Just the two of us? I'm trying to get clapped out here. Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys, then flake out. Uh, uh, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses for him? He's my bro. Uh, no, I guess you're right. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. Hey, okay, bro. Yo, she's saying all this, but she's still coming to train. I'm about to say, but you killed. You still came to come get me. You could have <laughs> like, yeah, Kato, we trained last night. <laughs> so we're really going to do this train, just the two of us, not sweating at all, bro. Nothing, bro. Like, 
<laughs> that is over here yeah, he, struggling. He, he can take his jacket off. <laughs> She's such a little sweater thing on. I think it's a sweater. Maybe not. I don't know, bro. But all in all, not 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 grinning her teeth. Damn. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Uh, Probably not. But it's mental training as well, as Kaito would say. Worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? He's dead, Ren. I I actually do, Maki. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, I'm so worried for my bro. He feels uneasy because he... Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. Yeah. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. What the... What's oh. That? Oh, it's... Oh. oh. Right. Maki sprang up and said, Hey, 100, I'm done. Could you, like, not flex on me? Maki seemed nonchalant as she rushed off her hands. <laughs> you really, you're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push ups until I passed out. 100 push ups is nothing. Until you passed out, bruh? What? About Kaido, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, sometimes I wonder what I am anymore. Uh... I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. Listen, I'm not Kaido. I can't help you out of this. Like, I'll just be like, Oh. Uh, you're not a you're not an assassin. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Okay, well, look, look at Kyo. Kyo's a weirdo, so, you know, you, you're fine. Come on, man. Get your hand in the game. Uh, you have it on auto. Dog, bro, go. Give me the controller. Ah, uh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well, everyone once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it was too great of a job. Uncovering people's secret for money is the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. As if it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. Yeah. If Kaido and Kaido that have helped me see things that way, both the king. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't ask to hear your story. I didn't ask you! And you- Maggie's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maggie! <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow, Maki. You really just said, okay, bye. She didn't reply and kept walking. She said, okay. Sad. That's crazy. Show me where I asked. Nighttime? Why are we talking to you here? This is when you blood out under his door, man. Uh oh. Welcome back, Maki! You finally came! Ah, <laughs> uh, we got a whole little click going on here. Oh, God. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? Yeah! Manakuma's regulations don't matter. But Kirumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But if no one's allowed to walk around at nighttime, that ca that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council was trying to limit all all nighttime activity. Well, limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away? Is that it? My my. Yeah, you're so loud, Maki. That's more important. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Ah, uh, and this and scenario, see, you know, like, see, Andy, this is where you're starting to lose me. You're like, it's gonna be less and less about protecting everyone, and then we're like, oh, I didn't say you can do that. Uh, um, we need 
to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Because that's what Atua says. That's what Atua says. Atua says. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer if you were more careful. It's for the peace of the Academy. Racism! Kaido's dead. No, please, bro, go away. Monokuma, can you get up, man? Get your fur back at least. I don't want to see you anymore. Good morning, Suichi. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Hey, it's your dining hall? Same here. I'm not. I don't want to go with you. I'm too hungry to do to do anything. But now I'm sad. With Kurumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. Yeah, who, yeah, who cooks for us now? <laughs> I give any to taste mom's miso soup again. No. Uh, Kurumi's not your mother though. Huh? Yeah. You. You think I don't know that? <laughs> Well, see you later. It's a fun um, expression, man. You know, I was just joking, joshing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she can't do take things serious, like, bro, I was just... It's like, it was, it was, a, it was a joke, man. It was a joke. It was a joke. Maki. Uh, good morning, Maki. Hey. Hey, you okay? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you okay? Dude, I saw it last night. If you don't know, then don't worry about it. No. Well, say it like that, it makes me worry. I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. What? Why? It's not breaking the rules, is it? Okay. They said it's because Kirumi committed her crime during nighttime. And then Angie said, gave her usual Atua says speech. Atua. Well, we shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. Exactly. Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. She's not. She's like, shut up, murderer. That's true. We should do something about this. With the student council running things like this, a rift might form in the group. And then we'll be in a situation we can't go back from. And resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. Gotta go fast. Oh, Keo! You're never out here. <sighs> Good morning, Keo. Good morning. Are you gonna have focus as well? Yeah, he's okay. supposed to. Yeah, are you coming? Yes. Indeed. I also, to, I also tend to do some research and organize my lab today. If you are able, can I request your assistance? <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Everyone's just bonkers. Ah, uh, Miyu, good morning. Why he looks, uh, sorry. The, the same ones that are left should not be going to this dinner, bro. They're gonna poison the Kool-Aid and we're screwed. Converted. What was that? <laughs> the hell's all this morning chatter about? I'm fucking tired. Um, Did you stay up all night with the computer? <laughs> that thing's amazing. The more I research it, the more excited I get. So good. I bet it won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I may pull off my groin muscles. What? What? I... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> is there even a chair in the room? I do. I don't know what she's doing. Let's have a fight in this dining room right now. The same ones versus the the student council. Oh, here are you fighting? <laughs> yeah. I shout. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. <laughs> Quit messing around. Don't do whatever. Don't do whatever you you want. Huh? Hmm? But I have Atua's blessing. That's not the point right now, Angie. Right. Yeah, we have Atua's blessing, and I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm. I know you can be the student council, or some such. But this is going too far. Yes. No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. See, and the thing is, like, it will keep the peace, so to speak, but then, like... At what limit? Like, 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 like uh... But it won't be a nice keep the peace. We won't all be happy. We're gonna be like, oh, we're... We're just peace. not dying. Yeah. Dependence is a trait of one... Of one with a corrupted mind. The only thing we can truly depend on... Is love. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What? <laughs> Who's love? 
sibling are, are you talking about your sister again? What's going on, bro? Sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Tinkle's I love Tinko's faces, Even bro. in a cult, she's like... Men who say creepy things like that are the worst. Are, are worse than co-workers who won't stop talking to you. <laughs> bro. Co-workers who won't stop talking to you? Dude. Dude. Oh. What was that fight all about? I should hear from Kaido. I don't understand why everyone's getting so mad. Yeah, because you're just plain a follower, Subugi Sumugi. I don't know, man. This is so the killing game won't happen, and we'll have a peaceful life here. This arc gotta end. I don't like it. Kaido, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. This guy did something unbelievable. They bugged the manhole that leads to the underground. Why? The manhole? Oh, so we can't escape? Go to put heavy rock on top of the manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic, I could have made it disappear with my magic. But I decided to let like, Gonta handle it this time. Um, why would you do that? Because, because the manhole's a reminder of our desire to leave this place. Okay, I see what they mean. It's the message. Like... Yeah. We weren't going to use it, but the fact that you cover it up without talking to anybody is kind of like... Yeah, because like it's it's like you guys mean well, but then you're not talking to any, everyone else about it. And it's like, oh, well, it's just the sitting council. We'll handle it. This is the same thing we talked to Kaede about. You can't just say, let's do this because you have the moral high ground. We're doing that right now. You guys have said, oh, it's for the best of the school. Yeah. We don't want another tragedy to happen again. Like what happened to Kaede. Thanks. Listen up. You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around. Damn it! She, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right. That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. So instead of doing democracy, we wanted one person. Like, like, like majority rule type stuff, you know? If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear Ottawa after all. Convenient. Aww. Man, she's a lost cause. <laughs> Plain Jane's like her and tell her rubes when it comes to cults. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Samugi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. <laughs> Second dosage. <laughs> This jingle, this jingle is unsettling, bro. Does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Yes. Atua has whatever features you desire. Interesting. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Ah, oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Oh, brother. I want to meet him as soon as possible. Drink the Kool-Aid! Atua exists beyond time itself. I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Shoot, we might as well do a seance with Kyo. shit. <laughs> wow! So cool! Hato is just so cool! Coats like these can be really annoying if you, if you get on their bad side. But, but... But, but, why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? You didn't ask. <laughs> Is it cause you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? You haven't given up? You haven't given up? What, what, what the hell's wrong with you guys? See, this is the issue. This hive mind stuff. Like, <laughs> no one said that. We just said, like, bro, you didn't ask us. <laughs> the student council can, cannot ignore that. It seems like we must tight, tighten our control. Yo, this arc blows. I hate it. Titan, are you calling me loose? What? That reminds me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mew? What? Look, uh -huh. see, see, this is the issue. Like, you guys it, it issued this new rule of no nighttime it, with yourselves. You, we didn't do this in the lunchroom. Like, I'm sorry. Do you guys remember when uh, my man's brown child got killed in broad daylight? <laughs> like, okay. Uh, 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 so, so what if I was? So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. 
Oh shit. Switch you too, right? I thought I dodged the bullet there. <laughs> I thought it was swish. Uh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Because Atua says so. Atua's right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at night time. <laughs> so if somebody dies at if somebody dies at night, you guys did it. Uh, uh, right? That's okay. crazy. Uh, <laughs> what? 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 Stop it! What? What, what? what I do and where I do it is none of your fucking business. Nope. No. As long as everyone still wants to leave, that's not acceptable. However, why is this council exempt from the rules? This is this is blatantly unfair. Unfair, yes. Um, yeah. I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. I guess that makes sense. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a tua. What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. The student council is so divine. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me just to stay here and do nothing? Let's make our own cult. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> we'll form by default. Like hell I will. I haven't gotten, gotten to, gone to space yet. Swing. Punch her. Oh. <laughs> be out. <laughs> Small as hell. Not going no to fighting. Oh. Are people fighting in here? Are you all fighting? I, I don't think so. I think maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Y yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You we want you to get even closer with each other. So you bought this? Good okay, looks. good looks. Flash us. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. uh, a flashback light. It's a part of our use of flashback light. It's part of our use of flashback light to restore a new memory. And become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. <laughs> wow, I should have way too many blows to the head to remember the plan name that long. Mm -hmm. Ah, she said to break that. We don't need this anymore. Ah, let me see Ooh. that. <gasps> she's gonna break it! She's gonna break it, she needs to learn for it. See, Angie. we don't need that without two of them. Angie! Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... Angie! <sighs> she threw it on the ground and stumped on it relentlessly. Yeah, huh? The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Out of nowhere, huh? You Yo, suck ass, how does Monokuma more, 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 more? What's the word? Lenient with his regulation rules, like, oh, from now on, this is the rule. Not just, oh, I decided on the spot. What? Why? <laughs> because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world, but we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong look, look, look. outside This is not a bad plan. It's just that we did not all agree with this plan. Yeah. You kinda just said this is the plan. Yeah. We belong here at the Ultimate Academy. Model Cubs, do something! Watch you up! Uh, oh no! If you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust! <laughs> What are you gonna do, Mana Down? He's like, oh shit. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> hey, he went away! Oh, hey, Mana Down! Wait! So long, farewell! Oh. <laughs> Bye, Anana! Wait! Hey, Angie, what are you doing? We could remember it's something. About the funeral of the ultimate hunt. That's not right. There's no reason to remember it at all. We're not returning to the outside world. What? Yeah, it's, it's pointless now. Why, why you, you, you've gone way too far. Like, ugh. this place blows. 
even want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry, sorry, but you should take that up to a tour. Sadly, I can't talk to them, huh? Crazy. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So you have a plan for the, you know what? Oh, you mean the resurrection ritual? Well, we have a plan for that. What? What are you planning? Because, just a necessary precaution, the more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. A necessary precaution? Uh, um, what if we get another time limit motive? Like the one Rantar the one that got Rantaro killed? Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? See? 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 What is that? You mean... If someone has to die, we should volunteer if someone resurrect it. That's wrong. Uh, shit, they were pro they're dead already, though. You're right, though. You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cruel place where someone wants to stop the killing game. Uh, life cannot always be fun and smiles. A uh, what makes- must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But- but we must admit, we must submit to Atua's will if we're to live in peace, a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua will be absolute. No! Whoa! Yeah. If Atua says so, there's nothing wrong we can do about it. It's just like Atua says. Tango, please. Tango, uh, are please! You, are you serious about this? Did you forget that the, the, the thing's motives for the killing game? Kaido, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. That motive is no concern to us, as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. By the way, who are you gonna resurrect, Montaro? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Probably Ryoma. I mean, I will. Uh, hmm, after discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is. Oh, Fuck yes! yes. Thank God, shit. Rantaro Mommy. Rantaro Mommy. Wait, but it doesn't help. That doesn't help your plan. He's like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? A cult? Ah, oh, I couldn't say this cult me die. <laughs> huh? Rantaro? Because. Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kayeri and Kirumi, nor criminals like Ryomo who violated the rule against sharing one's motor video. Which leaves Rantaro as the only one who would be of use to the student council. He would be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> True, Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back? Please. Rantaro! Oh my god! Are you dead ass? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? But no, why would they be- I gotta warm up. But he's gonna- <laughs> he, He's gonna- he looks, he's, gonna, he's gonna remember his shit. Nah. He's, he's gonna want to remember, and he's like, no, 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 he's like, oh. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It's like, oh. why, like, he's not gonna vibe with y'all playing. I mean, he's not a murderer, but, like, no. No, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. <sighs> he's dead. Kaede killed him. Yeah. Oh, my, sorry, you're so late. I need to get going now. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Yeah, you're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well, well then, let's go. Yeah! Bayonara! Uh. Gosh, bro, this is the team? Then, it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this! Why is he on my, why is he on my team? <laughs> also, we have that assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. See... No. Uh, n no. We can resolve this peacefully. Can we? I don't I mean, think we, we can, have to, though. We have to, but, like... Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone come up with a plan to end this peacefully. Fair. By the way. What about you, Kaido? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you got some great ideas. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, brother. You, you say something? Is he fighting the influence right now? Like, what's going on? Yeah, out of it, man. No. Uh oh, someone was zoning out. You want, you want to talk about it? You don't look too hot. Kaido, something doesn't seem right. 
You, yo, bro, let's talk. What's, what is good, bro? Kaido is dying. If Rontaro was working for the mastermind, bringing him back might be a bad idea. No. No, that's idiotic. Rontaro couldn't have been working for the mastermind. But is it really possible? You only knew Rontaro for a short time. He did seem as though he was kind of used to the killing game. <laughs> Looks like you're starting to understand what I'm getting at, Suichi. But no matter what we say, it's probably dead set on, on who the Chiefs student will be. Right? It comes with the life, and that's, then that's that. Nothing we can do except look forward to it. Maybe they're just gonna give back like his memories or something. Like they're not gonna give him back, but like, oh look, his here's brain. what he knew. Here's his mono pad with some of his memories in it. Well, let's put it aside. The, let's put aside the pathetic mess for now. Let's play everything for the stupid bitch lit and her. Ca <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What does he do? A bitch lit. <laughs> Kaido, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Uh oh, it, it's it's nothing. I just feel chill. That's all. If I rub, rub some spit on it, it feel better. What? 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 Rub spit on what exactly? <laughs> Thank you, Maki. Like what the? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is this day is running the dead. He said anyway. There's no, there's no way. It's not possible. They, I, I can't stop these chills. Are you dying? They poison him? Murder! Murder! Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I, I'm, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back to my room. Um. Uh. Kaido left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. Do you think we can even spend time with anyone on the student council right now? I don't think so. They're wiling. Good thing no one I like is on the student council! I mean, no offense, I like them, I like them, but like... We were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. You seem to be enjoying this. Uh, oh, I thought it was like a picture. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. Bro, oh, come on, man! <laughs> like, wow. If you don't fucking make something levitate, I want to see magic here. <laughs> he goes magic trick with a bus. That said, there are differences in how the ropes are used. In one region, guests tie up women. In another, the guests are tied up. What? That doesn't seem like much of a warm welcome. What? <laughs> what? I was tied up so tightly during my my visit that I nearly passed out. Quite the reception. Oh. oh, your understanding is yet shallow. That was only the beginning. Okay. As I was tied up, they. <laughs> nah, but you 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 gotta come with that heat. <laughs> As I was tied up, they whipped me. It's just a warm welcome. Bro, okay. We, we we didn't get a whip, so I couldn't give that to him. Ah. I don't think that was... <laughs> Shirichi, no, I think bro. I are torturing you. Shirichi, listen, man. You you have to... This is a, uh, an acquired taste. Ah, uh, say something to no one. Beautiful. <laughs> this experience opened up the door to a new world within me. What? Bro, he was really fighting. Mando getting he's, the... He's, he's getting the vapors. <laughs> I feel like that door should remain closed, bro. As long as you don't bring out no rope right now, we're fine. You got it oh. again. After passing through that door, I was able to re- Homie, he was damn near dead. <laughs> he saw the light. <laughs> Le petit morte. Um, I was able to reunite with someone taken me, taken from me by death. That was the greatest welcome I could have possibly received. Could he, be could he be referring to a near-death experience? So his sister's confirmed dead. Yeah. He's confirmed trying to talk to his sister through this seance. <laughs> oh, don't open your eyes. Such an experience will grow your love for anthropology. I want that for you. <laughs> as long as it's not the ropes, we're fine. We, I don't want to die. What? I, um, I don't know about that. I don't even have the basic the basics mastered. Smooth, Rishi, smooth. 
Oh, indeed. It is useless without basic knowledge. I'm glad you understand. Uh. In any event, I would like to take you along on field work today. On one day. There are so many things to discover. I don't think you can do that. Well, I don't remember my life. We can't say that, so... Uh. There's so many secrets to discover, Kyo. Imagine going on field work. It'd be cool to dig stuff up. Until you get, like, some fucking haunted item or something, and then... Uh. Or you get kidnapped by a village. They're not necessarily secrets. We merely live our lives distanced from such knowledge. Listen. Shuichi, to tell you the truth. Even if it isn't for field work, I wish to travel the country with you. Okay. Bet. I want to show you the beauty of humanity as I know it. Okay. You're right. I wanna go with you. I, I, I want to go with you, Kyo. We would have fun no matter where we went. You know, gang, gang. Gang, gang. I am pleased. It makes me so very happy to hear you say that. Dang, we're on we're on full name basis now. <laughs> Kyo's eyes were gentle and light and kind. I thought he was creepy at first, but now there's a real bond between us. If so. <laughs> Perhaps I might consider you my first disciple then. I never imagined having a disciple so soon. Yes! We learned a new skill! Supernatural phenomena! We're Ghostbusters now. How do I see the skill? Oh, is it like in the... Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it matches his outfit! Come on. This is not like Gundam fucking invisible. <laughs> Ah, we met so cute. Ah, we met so cute. Eh, 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 eh. Damn. See, Gonzo, Gonzo is just gullible. He, he, he didn't really put the tonsil like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. You don't want to really be there, do you? Hey, yo. Man, Shuichi, you, you're looking even more pent up than usual. You <laughs> might not be safe to ask. What? Hey, are you really that pent up? Cause I'm not that easy, you know. I don't know, you though. Like bubble gum. It's pink. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Fucking okay. slugs. Oh, sorry. Oh, Shuichi! You came here about my secret, didn't ya? I, oh, yeah! You're the first person I've shared this with. This me something dumb. So, I might have some trouble saying it right. He's acting strangely. It must be important. You know. I'll just tell you straight up. To be honest. How you good, bro? I... I'm not a normal person. Oh, good, you know, <laughs> you're aware of it. Oh, good, you're aware of it. Why would you do that? You have to go back now. <laughs> moron! Of course, I'm not so dense that I can't tell what makes me weird. Yeah. Then, why not do, why not do, something, do something to change? You know. So I need someone else to assure me that I really am weird. No. You really are weird. <laughs> Seriously? How did you know? That's... It's pretty clear. Huh? You can tell just by looking at- looking that I'm an augmented human? <laughs> okay, what? An augmented human? I didn't realize that she was talking about something like that. You got a hey. boob job? Hey, out with it already! Sorry. No, I mean I can't really tell. Huh? Huh? Then why the fuck did you even say that in shit in the first place? You know. Anyway, you probably won't believe me, but back in the day, I used to be a boring and remar remarkable girl with no talent at all. Hmm. One day, I got in an accident and ended up in a coma. Real life and death type shit. After, anyway, after the surgery, I barely managed to regain consciousness. Listen up! And ever since, I've been a chock full of ideas of all kinds of inventions. Really? And I had the brain and skills and physical talent to make those inventions a reality. But that's weird, isn't it? I mean, 
to think about it, it's weird, right? Uh, yeah, w weird. That being said. So, I've come to the conclusion that I am, in fact, an augmented human. Huh? An augmented human? Sure. That's right, the, sur the surgery augmented me somehow. That's how I survived the coma. Wait. W wait, no, that can't be the case. You definitely human me. Sure. Sure. I do normal human stuff like eat and take shits, but... I mean, look at Kibo. If someone can make a robot that passes for a human, I then it wouldn't be weird. <laughs> then it wouldn't be weird if I was an augmented human. <laughs> this secret is ass. This is amazing. Huh? Is this something to get excited about? Sure. Of course. Superheroes are within my reach, or I should say, literally within me. Yeah, that's it. I got the power inside me. You better start cutting me open. That's not. You. You should Wait. not. What? You would die. I'm an obvious human. It'll take more than dis than disembowelment to kill me. Please no. You might be bizarre, but she's still human. <laughs> I just got jammed this baby into me. Mew brandished her wrench in, in the air and swung it up into oh wait, stop! Wait! <laughs> I frantically grabbed her hand to stop her. Oh freaking wrench, bruh! Wait! Is Matthew you are mentioned on that? You're living, breathing, you living, breathing human being, Mew. So you can't hurt yourself like this. What? Shuichi. I mean, yeah. I mean, like augment don't mean you got a skull <laughs> still. Like. But what are you saying? How else can I satisfy my lust for research? That's not research. That's you trying to kill yourself. I can't let you do this, Mew. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I do a little noodle. Bit. What? Touch me! <laughs> me, but like. <laughs> <Try it. laughs> oh my God! Stop, Monica! What? Can you please? Gross I hair. can't look at you like this. Well, no training then. Yeah, right. Anyway, I suppose it's night time. Maybe you establish the curfew at night time. I wonder what happened to training. It won't happen. That's true. You can't leave your room, Shuichi. Yeah, I should go to Kaido, see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Do not tell me he's dead in there. No, bro, bro, please. I can't, I can't. I will throw up if he is dead in there. Go, 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 go. Oh, but I guess, but I guess he's outside. I wonder if Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Ryza about to ring the doorbell. What are you doing outside, you fucking degenerate? The door to Kaido's room opened and out came the murderer. Oh, hi, Maki. Oh. What's good with the homies? See, you about him too. Oh. Ah, Maki. Yeah, we better get in trouble. We're the trio. Is she mad? I am fucking too. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. Are, are you okay, bro? I gotta apologize, apologize, apologize to you too. Well, he told me he was gonna skip today's training too. So, he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to, to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think it'd get better if, if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaido. Do what you have to. Uh. We have to We have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. Sir Custom said being out after nighttime is prohibited, right? Huh? Well... I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really? But... I don't want to skip it, so I'll just... It'll just be the two of us training today. See, Bro, Maki, you like doing training! Maki, we're gonna get in trouble! I'm a, I'm a real follower, I can't. And I'm with the murderer, too, so yeah. they'd be like... Assassin cult! Yeah. W what? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Nah. Do you want to die? <laughs> die? What are, you, what are you talking about? Sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> old habit, okay. I didn't know such a habit existed. Well, anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. We can't go outside. We're going to get in trouble. <clears throat> Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaido. I never imagined that, that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. No, 
now I do what I want. Suichi, I'm sorry, but I can't leave the train to you. To, eh, can I? Can I leave the train to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaido. Go to bed, buddy. Go to bed. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Who was around it? <laughs> yeah, cause like they don't like you, Maki. I they don't go, like us. I can go outside and get away with it, probably. Like, but if you go outside and you're like, yo, hey, Maki, about Kaido, you shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I, I'm sure he's not. It's like you thought I was worried. Ooh. Okay. My body's stiff and don't impulse. Oh, we're surrounded. Maki's eyes and her entire and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Okay. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, Maki? But her glare wasn't named at me. It was right past me. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know why you guys went outside. Uh, 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 such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have just passed out from that glare. Tanko? I... You, you probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Are you trying to convert? Are you coming to our side? What's, what's up? What's up, though? Uh, I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Hey. Huh? What? That's, that's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. Hey. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Fui Himiko, right? Uh, um, a favor from us? Hey, I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. I knew, I knew she was, her face was like really like, like normal. She wasn't smiling as much. Tinko, thank God. I missed you actually. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. Yes, and she infiltrated. Go ahead. Ah, go. high five. My girl, I should have switched for time with you. I'm sorry, Tinko. Mmm, what's What's good? Tenko, what are you talking about? I think you believe in Atua. No. I can never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Preach it. Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to, su to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. And so you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Let's keep it down a little bit. Hey! It's because you worry about Himiko, aren't you? Himiko is... Don't got no brain cells. You would have to be brainwashed <laughs> during the student council, right? Is she a little empty in there. You shake her around, it's like a little bottle. It's like a little... Like... Yeah. Can't think. Head empty. <laughs> I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but... I think Angie is dangerous. Tenko, I misjudged you. You have a brain cell. You, yeah. You exactly. are now a part of. Uh, you are. When she, when she, when she started talking about Asuka, I was like, "What, Tenko? Impossible. You, you're the last person. Like. You are now an honorary member of the brain cell squad. Welcome yes, aboard. Welcome aboard. Student council idolizes Angie so much. They don't see how dangerous she is. Mm. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Well, asking someone for asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Really? She said, "Do it." I yes. I won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before this all this happened. <laughs> so so she also sensed that with the magic show. Like yeah. that was weird. Yeah. And I think everyone has wanted has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Yeah. But going through with it is a different thing. Ex thank okay, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter what the reason is. Do you realize who you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> I kill people for a living. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. It is wrong. I, I just... I want to stop Angie. The resurrection, the resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. 
If we go along with Monaco's motive, it will lead to another killing. But, but the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones that can stop Angie. Should we be talking about this outside in the open? Go to someone's room, you know? Because <laughs> then you're like, oh, we saw you talking to uh, Suichi and Maki. For a long time. Only us? Well, yes. obviously I can't ask Akichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaido's not feeling well, you know? That's true. Oh, well, see, I'm friends with Kyo, so... Listen, that... He, he still wouldn't help, I don't think. I see. You don't have any options. Okay. Yeah, that is true. So please help me! You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual! I'm begging you! She not listen to us! Her begging? A degenerate male? Uh, oh my god! I was joking. Get on you, Tinko. Tinko bowed down as deep as she could. Girl, I... I was gonna say no? Like... I was gonna do it anyway, like... Well. It's cool. Well then, let's go! Let's go? What? We didn't answer yet! Uh, quit! <laughs> There you go, that's my girl. Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. <laughs> I miss you. I, I hate wasn't Kibo as, as an Ottawa follower, bro. <laughs> it don't hit the same. <laughs> that's robophobic. I believe in God. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. No, no, high five. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So, what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. Okay. No, I wouldn't. This is something that I ignore. What do you think I am? <laughs> no. no, I'll do it. I was just thinking. I do a tickle that is dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, degenerate male! Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. This is the wrong one, not Ma Kaido. Uh, uh. You talk, he's the wrong man. He yeah, said, this is, this, is, this is the wrong man. I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now, let's go convince... We're going to talk to Angie? No. Let's go convince Angie together. She should be, she should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. Right now? Huh? Together? I'm going to? We need supervision, okay? Huh. Uh, of course. I wouldn't ask just for Shui just Shuichi for help. I'm glad you know that. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? <laughs> Oh well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. Fast travel? Nope. Oh way! Sprint! Found the stairs. Where are you going? Hi. Oh. Hmm. This is an original group of people. Unusual group of people. Tenko, a student council member. So I get why she's here. Why are you outside of your room? <laughs> but Suichi Maki, are you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. Uh. <laughs> Sir, you're in school. Uh, I, I was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours. And then I caught these two roaming around. I... Yep, I'm doing my job as a student council member since I'm the only one on, since I'm on the student council. Thank you, if you act that enthusiastic, you come across as suspicious. Kokichi, go in your room and sleep. Oh, I see. You took his job very seriously. But you shouldn't lie. What? <laughs> lie down on the job, that is. Well, good night. <laughs> you got you got a funny man. All right. Do you think you could tell? For sure. Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, let's hurry. Angie's in her lab, right? Oh, wait! Oh, wait, it's probably locked, though. Alright, All right. It, it, all right. It, it's right here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door... Click, click. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure that door's locked. Locked? Oh, that's right. Angie did say that she locked the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway, just to test it. She's gonna heal that dude. I knew it. So it is locked. You're not that smart, are you, Suiji? <laughs> you got a minute? Oh shit, she better kick this dirt She's down. Sad. <laughs> Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Oh, I thought she's gonna kick it down. She's not. Hey. Angie, open this door. Now. Hey. Wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little miss impatient. Then, then how should I do it? 
And she will, be, will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Then why? why? Why didn't we just... So goes right back to the door and gives a few nervous knocks. That's very nervous. Please! Angie, it's Tenko! I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Did, y did you guys wait? Because like, that's, that's just sus. Maki just said, yo, open the door, and then, hey, Tenko! Right, like... Oh, Tenko? Yes! Yeah, it's me! After Tenko answered, the door flew open. I'm scared. Yeah! Oh, yo, Maki about to grab her. Can I help you? Huh? Huh? Why are Suichi and Maki here? Uh, um... Um... Oh! Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I'll introduce you to him. I don't even know how. Please, come in. No. Uh, n no, it's not that. Well, let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well. Yeah, well, I suppose. I don't know, guys. If we get locked in here, she would have clap all of us. Uh, we are prepared for what we are about to see. What's in here? What are we about to see right now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Uh, you know, I kind of thought she was doing that because she had the wax. And I thought she was gonna do like a, or stuff like that. I... Goodness gracious! Kaede and Montaro, Kurumi, Ryoma. I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? I don't like that. You you made them. Yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, Why? Of course. For the resurrection ritual, of course. Why? Uh, um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. I thought they were going to do it kind of like how uh, Kikio got... I'm sorry if you guys haven't seen Yuyasha, but Kikio got her... Yeah. She's old. So I went ahead and made these. Oh. So I went ahead and made these. <laughs> uh, Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and before I knew it, I made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? They are. You do such cruel cool things so innocently. Huh? Hmm, what? That's the assassin talking. But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, Kaya looking look at me kind of strange back there. Like, <laughs> you, like you're creeping me out. I miss Kaya, bro. Yeah, just like the real thing, but hollow. Angie, can you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember the ritual that you're gonna that, that you're trying to do. Uh, I, I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that that that, that this was Mon one of, this was Monkuma's motive. If he wants wants to do it, it can't be good. Uh, but the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. So what? What is the ritual then, dude? Uh, what are we doing then? No. No, it is not possible. The bodies, bodies were not fake. I'm positive. Just after seeing the wax, wax effigies, I I know. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had twists, twists of a soul. <laughs> those things, those things are empty. Whoa! A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. Stop! Uh, something that cannot never be re replicated. No, damn it! No matter what technology you have, you can't make a fake soul. As people. Whoa! Are, are, is that some robophobic speech? Uh, Miyoma, Kurumi, Montaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me. I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. I get it, Maki. You're an assassin. I get it. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they are really dead. Oh well. Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? Oh, damn it. Oh my god, we're gonna resurrect. What a miraculous mystery! Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but. Mm -hmm, but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. Except for the part where only one person was going to come back. Yeah, that's what they, like, that's what they said. 
So, so if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. No. <laughs> Dad must be right, because that was never wrong. I hope he's wrong so you, like... Snap out of this real quick. You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. course. Of course not. This is Atua's will. Yes. This is your will, not Atua's. No. Nope. Nuh-uh. It's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. Do it then. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Punished. Or else we'll be get punished, you know. What? Uh... You're probably still worried about the motive. Suichi, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. No. Is that so? Then there's no point in talking anymore. Uh... Hmm? Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. Sabotage is a wax <laughs> Drop kick it. If you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Yeah. That was a threat. Tinkle, let's go back for now. I think we need another plan. You can't say yo, Tinkle, let's go. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. She's fired. Yeah, like... She's fired. She's like traitor, like, oh. Oh. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. Oh, man. Yeah, funky music. Yeah. It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and? Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tinko has betrayed the student council, right? Uh. Huh? Yeah, dumbass. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> but, uh... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Just like, oh, man. Yeah. What's going on? Oh boy. Why? Why is Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council. And it's night time. Himiko! H Himiko! It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yes. She betrayed us? <laughs> ah, that. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Himiko is my brain must for sure, bro. Stop. You're making me blush. <laughs> Enough already. Same. Take a, watch tour oh. Take a walk toward Himiko and gripped her from me by the shoulders. Bower. <laughs> Please step out of it. Aren't you a mage? Right. That hurts. Let me go. H Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? You, if you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all. If that don't work, it's over. <laughs> we, we, we've lost her. What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. She didn't do that normally. Himiko. Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me! Just fight back already! Do something! Anything, really. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't wanna. Tinko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? Uh, it ain't working. Nothing? I'm sorry! Uh, I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh, uh, you must be tired, Tinko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. I'm tired. Bye, I'm not Sound good? Until then, I will continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. <sighs> Himiko didn't look at Tenko, didn't look Tenko in the eyes. Bro. Oh my god. Monokuma, bro, you gotta get gone. I'm glad we don't have these meetings anymore, but like, bro, stop coming on the screen. That's, uh, that's, uh, Maki. Maki. The intercom is early in the morning? I wonder who, who it could be. Uh, and we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs>